Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to do a video review of my Pioneer App Radio 2. Um, it's a head unit I have installed in my car uh, in conjunction with a few of the apps that I use to make this app, this radio, um, fully functional and to make it extremely enjoyable um, in my car. Pretty much uh, the, the main app that you're going to need, the main things that you're going to need is an Android phone that's rooted, that does TV out, that displays TV out via HDMI. Uh, it can be mini HDMI, it can be MHL. has to be rooted. Once it's rooted, you have to go ahead and purchase an app called AR Liberator. I'm going to have a link to it in the description. Um, it's available on the Play Store. And what AR Liberator does is it gives you complete mirroring and control of your phone on the app radio screen as I have displayed here. Um, so it, what it does is everything that's on your phone, pretty much it's your phone here. So everything that's on your phone is available on the touch screen. You can control the screens from there. So you see my phone is nowhere near the picture. I actually have my phone um, mounted. I use an iBolt dock there. So it's mounted. I have a Galaxy S3, the US version, connected with the MHL, MHL cable. And as you can see, I'm going through the screens of my phone but not touching the phone. That's because I'm using the touchscreen of the app radio to control what's on my phone and I just let the phone stay on there. So, let's go back to the app radio, zoom out a little bit. I know some people say that the price of the app radio is a little steep. Um, not the app radio, I'm sorry, the AR Liberator um, is a little bit steep, but once you see the functionality of everything that you can do and what it gives you for the app radio, it, it's worth the $30, trust me. Once you spend it and you start using your radio, you will not regret um, spending those $30 and it's definitely worth it for the developer and all the hard work he puts. He's very... Um, <clears throat> open he he's very responsive for support fixes any issues or glitches that he has so definitely worth it what I have here on one of my home screens is the power amp 4x1 widget I'm actually using a live wallpaper it's called audio glow and that live wallpaper um, pretty much shows the equalizer um, when you're playing your music so I'm gonna hit play and you'll see everything shows up this is a part of the app this is a part of the audio glow as well it gives the name of the group as well as the song and it scrolls and then as you can see when I turned it on the equalizer automatically started playing oh god so we'll pause that again once I pause it you see it turns off if you don't have any music playing it will be flatlined there's an option on the audio glow settings um, that will allow you to um, act as if it's playing music all, always. It'll animate always. I leave it like that. The particles are enough for me. You can choose the different colors of the equalizer, different colors of the particles, how many particles you want, different colors of the lettings, tons of letters, um, tons of settings, tons of options. I'll also put a link uh, in the description below. So I have my live wallpaper for the music to be visualized um, audio glow I have power amp uh, the main thing you're gonna need is AR Liberator um, this is called screen standby root also available on the Play Store link is available in the description and what screen standby root does is it turns off or blacks out your phone's screen doesn't lock it just blacks it out to help save battery and to have it less create less of a distraction while still giving you full functionality function functionality of the TV out um, let's go to the, my app drawer as you can see it is very fluid very functional works very well um, I have no issues with getting in and out of amps um, apps rather no issues with selecting anything see I can go in I have all my options available to me there so the it's very fast very responsive no lag no delay um, the the developer Kyle did a very very good job of creating AR Liberator to really make use of your Pioneer app radio too 
Um, the home screen launcher replacement that I use is Nova Launcher Prime. I've been using it since it's come out. Uh, the reason why I use it is it makes this experience a little bit more fluid and it makes it a little bit easier to use while I'm driving the car. I have it set up with gesture shortcuts so if you swipe down with one hand when you're on the home screen it's going to give me my notifications. When we're on the home screen if you swipe up it's going to expand and give me my most recent apps. I use two fingers. I set it up for two fingers to swipe down to make a phone call. I just did a generic phone number so you guys won't see who my uh, favorite contacts are. Two fingers to scroll down for one of my favorite contacts. Two fingers to sw scroll up for one of my fa favorite contacts. I don't have to press any buttons. I don't have to really even be doing anything. Take my eyes off the road. All I have to do is just know that when I'm driving two down, two up, I'm good to go. That helps me make, you know, makes the process a little bit more safe when I'm on the road. Um, all you have to do from Nova Launcher, go to gestures and buttons you're going to go into um, your gestures down here, swipe up one finger, swipe down one finger, double tap, you can change, swipe down. I just chose swipe down, and here are all the different options. You have Nova, apps, and the way I have it set up, it's under shortcuts, and it's called direct dial. And when you hit direct dial, you can choose from your contacts who you want to directly dial. If that particular contact has more than one phone number, you can actually choose. Um, once you choose that contact, the phone numbers will show up, and then you can choose that main phone number that you want it to be. Um, direct message as well. You can also do uh, directions and navigation if you're constantly on the road and you just want to have a uh, quick access to set up to go home from whatever point of access you are. You can set up directions and navigation and then choose your address and then have it set up that way. So Nova Launcher is awesome when it comes to if you if you really think about what your options are um, to really help you use the you know the app radio and the AR Liberator with much ease with being as safe as possible while you're on the road um, <clears throat> so I went over AR Liberator went over screen standby route um, my power amp the wallpaper is a live wallpaper called audio glow um, I showed you my shortcuts so it it's I love my head unit um, it makes the head unit um, Pretty much, you can get it on Amazon for about 350 bucks. I personally paid $500 for mine from Best Buy, um, but I know that if you're willing to wait for shipping and the prices now, I've seen them in Amazon for 350. You can get them from eBay, the same thing, 330, 350, um, and it takes a 350 dollar radio. Even if we add the 30 dollars for Kyle's app, it takes a 380 dollar radio, and it gives it the functions of a $700 or an $800 radio um, because we're mirroring what's on our phone our phones come with Google, Google navigation so you can just go into navigation and now it turns your head unit into a navigation device so there's no need for you to purchase a, you know a GPS um, the Pioneer App Radio 2 comes with an external GPS antenna that the AR Liberator takes full function of so it locks onto satellites immediately I use it on my daily commute I've never gotten lost so it it works so well you know if if you love your Android phone if you have it set up and you use tons of different apps this is gonna be the best experience in your car possible um, when I'm on my home screen I can press the button I have it set up to go to Google search so we'll get out of there. So again, gestures and buttons are shortcuts to make it as safe as possible when you're on the road. If you really set up your shortcuts and gestures to be able to use your phone with as much functionality as possible while, you know, driving and, and be okay on the road. Um, and I think that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up on the comments. Um, if you like the video, please like rate subscribe to me I'm gonna start doing some more videos on a couple of other things I actually installed the radio myself in my car I have a 2011 Nissan Rogue I did the install myself so if you have any questions on the install I can definitely help you I'll give you some pointers and tips uh, let you know where I had a lot of struggles with and what was really easy um, 
And then if you have any questions, again, with my setup and how I, what apps I use and, you know, any suggestions, or if you have suggestions for me, please feel free to leave me in the comments. I'll definitely, you know, communicate with you guys and help you guys out. Uh, and I'll appreciate any feedback you have for me. And that's that. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Peace.